All right, guys, so the fairway bunker. So I got a target where the green right now is about 163 away, and I've got my eight iron. So the one thing I hear a ton about is, or from people, is that you need a club up. So it, maybe I should be hitting a seven iron instead of an eight iron. But I'm actually going to take the same club I normally will. And we'll also, what I'm going to do, and the reason why for that is because I'm still going to take a good, solid swing at it. I'm not going to try to ease up on it, do something that I don't normally do. So if I take like a seven iron and I try to maybe, de I might decel through it and chunk it or I might swing, over swing it and now I'm over the green. So that's kind of the reason why I'm gonna take the same club I normally would. And now let's go ahead and get to this stance. I'm actually, when I set up to it, I'm not gonna dig down in the ground too much. Because if I dig down and get way down in there, let's say if I was in like a fairway bunker, that's actually, gonna, it is gonna keep my feet really quiet, which you still wanna do, but it's actually gonna prohibit my hip turn a little bit and I still want my hips to release a little bit and through. Also, it's bringing my circle that we create closer to the ball. So the chances of me catching a little bit chunky, you know, the rise a little bit. And if I'm going to counterbalance the chunkiness, maybe I'll come up and then I'll thin or I'll top it or thin it. So that's why I'm not really going to dig down too much. I'm only going to really feel like my feet, I'm going to do like maybe like two squishes or two twists in. Nothing really all that hard. I am going to choke down on the club a little bit. Let's say about an inch off down. Still going to give me, I can still swing it in and get my normal distance I would out of this eight iron. And then also from the ball position right here, let's say normally my eight iron, is just about a ball in front of the middle where I'll normally have it. I'm actually gonna move it slightly by half a ball up from there, just a little bit. What that's gonna do is gonna give me, catch me slightly on the upslope. I'm still gonna catch it pretty solid, but it's gonna help me rise it so I'm not creating, not hitting too much sand with it, but I'm catching a little bit clean off of this sand. So now I'm gonna set up to my ball position slightly above where I normally have, but half, so by now it's about a ball and a half from middle, I would say. And then secondly, I wanna stand nice and tall. Instead of maybe crouching down to it, I'm gonna stand a little bit taller than I normally would. My chest is gonna be pointing more out towards in front of me than it normally would. So I can be nice and tall again, so I'm not creating too much of a divot. And then the last thing I wanna do is I wanna think of the ball. Here, let me grab it here for you. Let's think it's about quadrants. The, four, the ball is about four different quadrants. One, so it's one, two, three, four. If I place the ball down, I have the top two quadrants are are facing me, so the, the, the one going towards the, the target and the one kind of behind me, I'm gonna put my focus on the top back quadrant. So the reason why for that is, now I'm focused on that part of the ball. If I were to focus on the front part, maybe I'll catch it too thin and try to swing out to that part. This is allowing me to still hit kind of at the ball, kind of behind it, but not on the ground below it, not catching too chunky, also not catching it too thin. All right guys, so let's go ahead and see if I can do that. See if I can hit a good one here for you. See, I'm nice and a little bit tall. I'm gonna go ahead and swing like I normally would. Oh man, all right, that turned out okay. All right guys, hitting a fairway bunker shot, nice and easy, and get it out there. Hey guys, I hope you really enjoyed that video talking about how you can get out of fairway bunker nice and easy. But what happens if you're actually in a green side bunker and wanna know how to get out of those? So there's gonna be a preview that's gonna play in a second talking about how to get out of green sign bunker. If you click on that i card, I'll take you to a full version video of that video plus five free bonus videos for there on the website. All right guys, so good luck working on it out there and play well. It's really tough sometimes. We, leave, we hit our shot into the bunker, we leave it in the bunker, we skull it out way across the bunker, it starts running across the green or worst ever, we hit that hosel rocket shank that shoots 90 degrees to the right. And this is a great system for just kind of a surefire way to get the overall basics of hitting a bunker shot and getting it out of the bunker every time. So if I come through and my club hits this little rod there, then that means that I'm getting pretty close to maybe shanking this ball. I want to stay away from that rod. That's going to ensure when I set down, this face is going to be wide open. I'm going to place the ball a little bit up in my stance. So you can see if I draw a line, that's going to go slightly toward the front side of my stance. I'm going to pop the golf ball up in the air and I'm going to have a nice clean shot.